Yeah, she be mad. Uh, she want to see on Tommy when she get home. She, goes, she be like, boy, you're done so fast. <laughs> Russ, uh, Jarvin has said that when, you know, with the kind of halftime deficit, you have to play damn near perfect basketball uh, to, come out of, to come out of that. You guys had cut deeply into the lead in the fourth. What did you think the Clippers did to push away in the end? I uh, just made some, some timely shot threes, uh, you know, when we were making a run. Russ, kind of two questions about the, the same thing. Um, where did you and Dennis get crossed up on that inbounds play? And we kind of saw you guys kind of arguing about it on the bench after, presumably about that. Um, what was the discussion about trying to, to get that right moving forwards? What do you mean crossed up? What do you mean how were we crossed up? You were trying to get the ball inbounds. The, how how was, was that a cross up? What were I mean, I assume you weren't trying. There wasn't a turnover. wasn't the goal of the play. I'm wondering what would the, the goal what's, of the play was. What was the cross up then? You said it was a cross up. So what's the cross up? I'm asking you. I mean, no, you said it. You said there was a cross up on did, that play. Did you guys get crossed up on that play? No. What, so it wasn't. What, it was, it was a, it's a five man play. It wasn't between me and Dennis. Okay. What went wrong on the Demons play? And did you it feel was a that? Turnover. Did you feel that that swung momentum at all? No. Yeah, um, you and uh, Rui have a special bond. Yeah. Had a special bond in with us. And I'm sure he's very uh, um, excited to yeah. be you know, play back to be play with you. So how do you think, uh, how, how does he fit to this team? Uh, man, first of all, Rui is a great, just a great human, great person. I, I definitely, uh, we connected a lot in D.C. and then happy he's a part and, and back with him. And um, Rui's a hell of a talent and can fit in anywhere. Um, just happy that he's here and, uh, you know, get a chance to, uh, you know, play alongside him again. Julia, back. Hi, Russell. Um, first of all, congrats on, congrats on making uh, the 24,000 uh, points mark. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Uh, tonight you used impressive dribbling skills to successfully uh, fake out your opponents multiple times. And um, in the second quarter, you made a jump shot where your body was turned like 180 degrees away from the basket. It was just an amazing shot. You're always making these spectacular moves with just within a split second. Um, do you anticipate doing them, or is it just a second nature to you? Like, do you just not even have to think about it? Um, you know, the way you explain it, you need to be around more often. I, 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 you know, I just try to go out and do the best way, the, the best way I can. Um, to try to, you know, find ways to be able to make, uh, make some shots and make the right play. Mike. Russ, just want to follow up on uh, Rui. Uh, what, <clears throat> what do you like about his game? Uh, how do, you, where do you see him fitting in on offense, on defense? Uh, what can you tell us about playing? Uh, you know, he's um, a guy that don't get a lot of credit, but he's hell of a scorer, great hands. Uh, can shoot the ball really well, uh, can guard any position on the floor, a big body. Um, and I just, you know, I know I've seen him do great things, and I'm just excited to, to be able to um, see him do it here. Um, you know, given the opportunity, he can, he can be successful here. Last question, Dan. Russ, there's a, a pretty good chance you guys get AD back tomorrow. Um, what, what ways did you guys play without him do you think are important to carry over? Um, as you guys get more whole, but specifically getting him back? Um, just keeping our pace up. Thanks. Yeah.